Each chemical will be placed in a compartment. Each compartment will contain either ammonium nitrate or potassium chloride, and then water will be inserted through the inlet. Therefore, we will have a temperature drop. Now, for the testing of the stream, we only filled six compartments in order to test it. Three were filled with ammonium nitrate with respect of one gram to one milliliter of water ratio, and three were filled with potassium chloride with respect to the one gram to three milliliters of, milliliters of water ratio. And we had a 2 degrees Celsius drop. However, the projection for this design is having 36 compartments, which would result in a 12 degrees Celsius drop temperature, a drop in temperature, which is highly efficient. However, we did not stop there. We made sure that if, if a project is flexible, we're going to express its flexibility with the number of systems we can develop. And we came up with the revolver. So we call it the revolver because it looks like a revolver and it has 15 compartments arranged in a circular shape and each compartment would have a different chemical being either ammonium nitrate or potassium chloride and this it has also a plastic plant which serves a dual function. First function is that it holds it on top of a cup maintaining a cooling circuit um, flow because the hot region of the liquid is on the top and the uh, cold region is on the bottom. Another function of the lid is that it insulates the system from gaining heat from other uh, from the atmosphere other than the surrounding. So we tested the revolver and 15 compartments, all the 15 compartments were filled with chemicals. Eight were filled with ammonium nitrate and seven were filled with potassium chloride, of course, with respect to the one gram to one milliliter of water ratio with ammonium nitrate and one gram to three milliliters of water. For potassium chloride, and we had a 5 degrees Celsius drop. However, the projected number of compartments is 45, 23 with ammonium nitrate and 22 with potassium chloride. That would result in 15 degrees Celsius drop. However, as you can see, in the second phase of the designs, we used copper. That's for the ease of production and engineering of them in Jordan. However, the ideal material to be used would be aluminum. However, Aluminum was not so very flexible in the use and the engineering of it, so we had to use copper. Moving on to the third model, which uh, consists of two plastic bags put in each other, and each plastic bag would contain uh, either ammonium nitrate or potassium chloride at a certain mass and putting a, volume of water, a certain volume of water according to the ratio, which produces high temperature drop. And so, uh, we developed the system in order to benefit the medical field in first degree burns. This system will be applied on uh, first degree burns and will prevent uh, excessive cell damage. And in this case, we had two bags, bag A and bag B, which would be for 10 grams of the chemical. And water would be added with respect to their ratios. And bag A would be inserted into bag B. Bag A would contain ammonium nitrate and bag B would be and they would be a bit shaken and we'd have an 11.5 degrees Celsius drop. However, there's only one problem with this system. It's not reusable, it's a disposable system. However, every single material we use in it is recyclable. You can recycle the recycle, uh, plastic bags, you can add water to, to ammonium nitrate to have a fertilizer, you can, you can use potassium chloride as a simple solvent. So with that being said, we have the reusable and recyclable part covered. However, this system, the third system, led us to several things that would turn high resource consuming equipment or systems to eco friendly systems. For example, air conditioning that use a lot of electricity and a lot of water. We would simply emit all that from the equation and we would insert our project in which temperature drop of the environment you're using the air conditioning part would, would decrease substantially without wasting any products without using an unrecyclable manner, it would be great. It would solve all the problems altogether. Now, many people ask, is this project both efficient and sustainable? Like, how, how, much, how many times can you use this system over and over again? And the answer is simple. It is both efficient and sustainable. We, un we underwent a uh, test in which the uh, chemicals would be used, water would be evaporated, and the systems would be reused over again. And so surprisingly, the temperature drop, the efficiency and the temperature drop did not decrease in a substantial number. The drop of efficiency was 0.5% per 
the same per trial. So if we use it once, like if uh, the first time it was a 15 degree Celsius drop, the second time it would be 14 degrees Celsius drop, which is a huge number. And moving on to the health concerns. Regarding the safety of our project, we realized that aluminum can be dangerous if uh, used for personal uses because aluminum is really correlated with multiple sclerosis and many health complications. However, we decided to use galvanized aluminum, which is basically the same aluminum but it is coated with the same layer. This is commonly used in this, uh, for solar panels. So, um, we took this into consideration in our project and galvanized aluminum does not affect our results. Economic, solution, uh, economic and social application is in the whole project. This is very important because if you want to have a project that works, it has to be marketed well. And all the systems, all together, everything we did with the chemicals we used, cost us 150 GDs, which is roughly around $200. And with that being said, you can expect any system that would be developed would not cost much. As for the marketing, as you can see, the system we use here, the screen, looks astoundingly aesthetically favorable. The way it looks to attract consumers. So as for consuming consumers, this system is attractive in look and it's eco-friendly manner in, in, in work is to expand the market base. Especially since consumers nowadays are eco-aware. As for producing consumers such as factories, it is a low-cost project, it, uh, it's eco-friendly, all this we get interest into. But the technique of use is astoundingly simple. And that's one of the great things, that's one of the merits of it. The complexity of the product does not affect the users, it's just simply adding water to the system and having a better product. Regarding the environmental aspect of the project, well, uh, the we uh, thought that many factories and uh, large industries use cold natural seawater in order to cool, uh, to cool down their machines. However, with our project, close that circuit without the use of cold natural sea water which would be returned back to the sea as hot water affecting the sea life and endangering many species. So with our project you basically put a certain amount of chemical and add a volume of water in order to cool down the machines without affecting the environment. So allow me just to recap and conclude everything we have said. There are three basic problems that we solved. There are main problems the use of electricity, the excessive use of water, and the thermal pollution. Electricity would be solved when, we, when you replace cool cooling systems such as air conditioning with such a system, you would ease the pressure of the fossil fuels being burned for electricity with a system like ours that can be recycled, reused, and reuse over and over again with a minimal drop in efficiency. As for water, instead of having an ice box full of ice, we would simply have lining of the ice box with our chemicals, with simple number with a, with a, with a moderate amount of water added to it and having a substantial temperature drop for a longer period. And finally, as for pollution, as my, my colleagues said, we would solve that problem by closing the circuit and, for, for example, the power plants, instead of having radiated water going back into the ocean after cooling the power plant, we would have a system like ours that would close the circuit over and over again it can be used and drop the temperature of power plants without both sides of the argument losing, without the marine life extinction or the factory owner's loss.